Oh my god. I just... I mean, I generally like to keep things structured in my videos, but I don't even have an intro planned for this one. I'm just fucking pissed. Just look at him. Look at that smug fucking face. He knows he got away with murder. He fucking knows it, and he's getting a laugh over it. This picture could only be complete if he were wringing his hands in plot. In spite of everyone who wants justice for insulting their intelligence and inciting public outrage, from the casual bystander to the Chicago police to the fucking mayor himself, he still managed to weasel his way out of it with no forthcoming explanation or justification. Piece of shit Hollywood shill. In latest plot twist, Cook County prosecutors abruptly drop all charges against Jesse Smollett. Yeah, that's it. It's a plot twist. Goddamn media muppets at the Chicago Tribune. For two months, the story of what happened to Empire actor Jesse Smollett on a frigid January night in downtown Chicago has transfixed the nation with its many plot twists. Fuck off. On Tuesday, the script was flipped yet again, and in many ways it only added to the mystery. In a stunning reversal... <laughs> God damn it. Just listen to their fucking word choice. Plot twist. The script was flipped. The mystery. Stunning reversal. They're talking about this like it's fiction. Like it didn't actually fucking happen. Like this was just some stupid drama people were watching as they crammed their faces with popcorn. As if it wasn't actually pissing people off or stoking racial and political tension. You never see this facetious bullshit from the media when they're focusing on someone they've collectively decided that they hate. In a stunning reversal... Cook County prosecutors abruptly dropped all charges in an indictment accusing Smollett of staging the January 29th attack in Streeterville and falsely claiming he was the victim of a hate crime. In exchange, prosecutors said, Smollett agreed to forfeit the $10,000 he'd posted for his bond and perform community service. Oh, so this was an exchange, was it? Whose dick did you suck, Jussie? Did you find yourself a gay, high-ranking Cook County authority and polish his knob? Or do you actually expect us to believe that you got away with 16 counts of felony disorderly conduct just because you batted your eyelashes and said, I'm wee-wee-wee-wee-saw-wee. You can keep my piggy bank and I promise to queen my womb. He insulted our intelligence throughout that entire media circus, and now they're collectively insulting us by acting like this was all above board. As if someone, whoever they were, didn't step in and grease a few palms to make this all go away. The purported deal appeared to be hastily arranged. Smollett only completed the community service Monday, and apparently was not put in writing. Yeah, his community service was nothing more than a fucking 18-hour publicity stunt with Jesse Jackson's Rainbow Push organization, doing social justice work for social justice warriors, and then patting himself on the back for it as if he wouldn't have done it anyway, even without the fucking court order, just to boost his career. God forbid we should get any photo ops of their black and gay victimhood poster boy picking up garbage by the highway like any common peasant. No, let's make sure those baby soft hands of his never know an honest day's work while he serves no one in the community but himself and the other activists like him. What a fucking joke. Tell us, Vulture, what happened to the video evidence mentioned in the complaint? Any and all evidence in this case would have been considered by the prosecutors. At this point, it's unclear whether the alleged video evidence of the attack existed, and even if it did, we do not actually know what it showed or how it may have portrayed the incident in question. The very existence of evidence, or lack thereof, likely played a role in the state's attorney's office decision to drop all charges against Smollett. Yeah, I notice you're using the words if and likely here. Placing a lot of trust in that justice system, aren't you? There's a reason why the existence of this evidence is unclear, Vulture. Smollett's legal team moved to have the court file sealed, along with any and all evidence, including grand jury witness testimonies. And what did the Cook County prosecutors have to say for themselves for doing this? After reviewing all the facts and circumstances of the case, the state's attorney's office said in a statement, including Mr. Smollett's volunteer service in the community, an agreement to forfeit his bond to the city of Chicago, we believe this outcome is a just disposition and an appropriate resolution to this case. So not only do the prosecutors representing the people of Cook County believe that Jussie Smollett shouldn't be made to face a jury of his peers, they also don't believe that those peers of Cook County are even entitled to know why, up to and including the outrage of Mayor Rahm Emanuel himself, who called the whole affair a whitewash of justice. No, instead, let's focus on the supposed hypocrisy of Emanuel's statement, as if his criticism isn't valid, and as if the circumstances of his campaign and his election have anything to do with what just happened here. 
You know, I don't like conspiracy theories. I really don't. Any argument not based in solid fact is a weak one, even if there is cause for speculation. But what choice do they give us but to theorize when they choose to withhold all the fucking facts? I've seen a lot of people saying that this miscarriage of justice is owed to the privilege of wealth rather than race, and I call bullshit. Jesse Smollett is worth about $1 million. If he'd been held to the $100,000 bond he was supposed to pay, if this article's reduction of that bond to $10,000 wasn't a mistake, that alone would have cut him down by 10%. He doesn't have the money to weasel his way out of this on his own. We've seen celebrities, executives, and public officials far wealthier than him face prison time for less, including all the allegations of collusion levied against Trump, which has had the left up in arms for two years and had them frothing at the mouth when the Senate Intelligence Committee's report didn't come out in their favor. No, this all boils down to political sympathy, and he was their evident ace in the hole. There was a theory floating around that Kamala Harris is his aunt, and that she was pulling strings for him. And while I never really bought into the idea that they're related, I find that point to be irrelevant. Her reactions throughout this whole shit show, along with those of her political cohorts, is suspicious enough for me. We all know that she was attempting to push an anti-lynching bill right around the time this happened. And now that Smollett's case has reached this outcome, all of a sudden she's all shoulders and completely confused, even as she chuckles and grins about it. You're confused, Kamala? Really? You didn't seem very fucking confused when you called him one of the kindest and most gentle human beings you know, and declared that this was an attempted modern-day lynching. One of Smollett's attorneys even had the fucking audacity to criticize the Chicago police for trying this case in the press, as if Smollett himself and all of his sympathizers weren't doing the exact same thing while he sat on ABC News and lied to us about going hard on 45. As if that hasn't been par for the course concerning their hands up, don't shoot, and listen and believe campaigns. Our justice system is a goddamn joke. There's nothing bipartisan or impartial about it. The very fact that a case like this is permitted to be sensationalized in the media before trial demonstrates just how corrupt it is. It's not about what you've done. It's about who you know, who knows you, and how they can either pull your ass out of the fire or make sure that you burn. It doesn't serve the people, it serves the social elite. And right now, it serves the constituents of the left who will not stand to be judged to their own standards. Evidently, the federal authorities are still running their own investigation. Let's hope that something comes of it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw here, have a look at my other videos and leave me your thoughts in the comments. If you support my message, then please like, favorite, and subscribe. If you'd like to help this channel improve, you can reach out to me on Twitter or on Facebook with any suggestions. And if you'd like to support me more directly, please consider following me on Patreon. Links in the description. Thanks again, and I'll catch you all in my next video.